hello guys how are you hope you are doing well good welcome to my youtube channel the entirety n today we will try to implement the swagger implementation with spring mvc framework we basically use spring mvc because there are lots of existing projects which made up by using spring 3 so you rarely find the uh, best video in uh, our internet blog so here we have we try to implement this swagger implementation so let's get started so as you can see this is my basic structure and uh, here you can go through my pom file and for swagger implementation i have used the spring fox swagger 2 2.9.2 version and we also need this dependency which is swagger ui for exploring the ui stm html and here are some basic spring boot applications spring boot dependencies sorry and as you can see we have added spring mvc jar spring web log log j core So next <coughs> here is my spring config.xml. Uh, this is basic example. So there is not much stuff that we can discuss here. So we as you all know we use MVC com annotation driven and context component scan. This is my basic package so it will scan all basic packages in the class path so let's see the web.xml file here as you can see we have given the dispatcher servlet path which is spring config dot xml which is resided in our resource path here and we have also created spring swagger config file config dot properties okay here we basically give the swagger controller which swagger ui html uses so there is not much code for swagger implementation it's very easy for anyone to implement swagger in our controller so here is the basic configuration in the configuration file we basically use enable web mvc and here is the mandatory thing which is at the rate enable swagger 2 okay so also we need to extend web mvc configure adapter for spotting the add resource handlers okay so here we have used the property file key which is base package okay here we need to add this these files add resource handler okay which automatically at the runtime added the all the class paths related to the swagger info okay so here are the uh, docket file we need to implement so in this docket file we just give the base package controller and the path selector would be any okay and I will show you my basic configuration path here I have used Java 8 Apache Tomcat okay so it's very simple to anyone to configure in the existing project and one more thing is here is our controller which is under the swagger test dot controller package here it will automatically read this controller file okay and show you the ui html so that's it let's run this swagger on the tomcat <coughs> so 
so as you can see at the run time all these spring forks related jars are been added okay so our application got started uh, let me show you the console here you can see the spring fox documentation is added at the runtime so it will automatically add this swagger ui actually i have used 2.9.2 version so we will run it into cognito window let me show you so we just need to add as HTML at the base URL okay so here it is as you can see the swagger Im implementation runs so here you can see my swagger controller okay let me show you my controller here demo name okay it will have all the uh, response codes by default and uh, it will it works with your given parameters if you like give some parameters here then it will show here directly okay so let me you can see my code okay uh, first there is swagger config file okay which you need to extend web configure adapter for spotting it into the html and here it is web need to enable web mvc this is the mandatory part add that enable swagger 2 and we also need to add resource handlers okay these are my resource handlers for swagger configurations and here is the default configuration where I have given the base package <coughs> so and this is my controller you can you can also ignore some controllers by writing at the rate API ignore okay so <coughs> let me restart the server again So as you can see, the swagger ignores my con uh, controller. This way it works. So if you like the video, if you think it's helpful, then please share this video. Thank you so much.